evening. Hope you're well. Saturday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern time, a little live stream, because that's what we do on Saturdays around these parts. Let's mute everything here so we don't hear me twice. Channel, live stream, and we are on. Let's see how many people are around midday, Saturday afternoon. It's a coffee kind of day. See if anybody pops on. People are probably out doing something. It's beautiful here in New Jersey today. Hello, first person. Uh, so I don't know what the temperature or weather is around the country, but right now around me, it's in the low to mid 50s, sunny and no wind, which no wind around my area, very rare. Hello, 14 of you. Jared, what's happening? Snooster, howdy, how you doing? Rob, oh, let me go to here now because we're disappearing. Rob says, Cement 2020 Tundra, what's up, Tundra dude? How you doing, buddy? Cement, amazing, we all know that. Chris is in Newark, Newark, New York, huh? New York, New York? I didn't even know there was a Newark, New York. Uh, let's see, Andrew says, 60 and 60s and sunny, which is amazing. Bob says, hello, Mark. Hello, Bob, how you doing? L Valentine, what's going on? Watching NCAA on mute and hanging with you. Very cool. A little March Madness action in the house. Eric, I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well as well. Kyle says, watching your videos forever. Loyal Tundra owner here. Best truck I've owned. I like it, buddy. I appreciate you for watching. Welcome aboard. Uh, let's see. Jay says, hello, Utah 39 and raining, which is no fun. Uh, Snooster says, Toyota has halted production in North America as of three days ago. Yeah, I could tell by the dealership lots already. Ugh, it's going to be interesting dealership walks going forward, but I'm not going to not do them. Just saying. We'll just look at something else, I guess. Jonathan, uh, Jonathan says, hello from Mesa, Arizona. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Bill says, South Mount Parkway at 109. Rock and roll, buddy. That is uh, not far from me. Kenny says, California Army Green here. Gotta love Army Green. I'm going to need to see a show of hands if you are a fan of the Army Green color. Go. Chris says, upstate near Rochester. I never knew that, and I'm from New York. What a shame. But good stuff. New York in the house. Good, good, good. Way to represent. Uh, Hillbilly, what's going on, pal? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Jose says, greetings from Naples, Florida. Rock and roll. Beautiful Naples, Florida. What is the temperature? I need to know. Bob says, Ohio, 58 degrees, which is great. Beiserman, what's up, buddy? Sunny and 55 from Michigan. That's good, too. All the places that should be cold. This is the first day of spring, right? So we're seeing a little warmth out there. Hillbilly says, everyone hit the like button. Dion here from Ohio. Rock and roll. Appreciate you. I agree. Hit the like button. Uh, Tori says, good afternoon, Mark. Greetings from Slushy Lake City. Always a fun little uh, adjective name you got going on for your fine city. Jared says, Lunar Rock on order. We'll be here April 20th. All right, Jared, here's the rules, buddy. When you get the truck, send me some pictures and also let me know um, if everything went you know, as planned or was there a delay. Email me when you get that stuff. Derek, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Hello. What's the temperature where you are, Derek? I know you're in uh, New Hampshire, right? Paul, how you doing? What's happening? Hello from Chicago. Yes, as always, at work. <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Illinois. Uh, Andrew says, AG is a no, so that means Army Green is a no. I have Magnetic Gray Metallic, but I traded in for a Cement Platinum before you could say Tundra Dude 34. Rock and roll on that one. Yeah, it seems like Army Green is a very acquired taste, which, hey, to each their own, I can't get enough of it. I love that color. And today is a bright, sunny day, and it just really, really brings out that color, and I can't get enough. I don't know what to tell you. I love it. I never thought I'd like it that much, to be honest with you. Kyle says, just tell me the fourth gen is coming. Love Army Green, but been holding on to my 2010 Limited Forever. Waiting on the new one, 65 here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. All right. Yeah, it's coming. We're just waiting. We're done waiting, but, uh, you know, it is on the way. It will be here ASAP. Are you on a 2022 Tundra waiting list yet? Not, not really. Um, I've had some conversations, but I also have some plans in the works, so uh, stay tuned but nothing is 100% until it's 100%. I don't really believe in waiting lists, okay? <clears throat> if dealers are giving waiting lists now before the truck even comes out, it just doesn't make sense to me. I wanna see if there's waiting lists, an official actual one on like a toyota.com. Like think of like when the Bronco came out uh, for Ford and the TRX came out for Ram, there was an actual waiting list. I don't want one of those like handshake promises from a dealer. I know a lot of people around the country dealer-wise and stuff like that, and people in high places. So I will do my due diligence to get one ASAP for you guys. Uh, by the way, Wendy's is delicious. 
Uh, let's see. Stern says, hi from San Antonio. Texas in the house. How you doing, buddy? DXB says, went for a 20-mile jewelry ride today in my 2021 Cement SR5 4x4. What a smooth ride. Uh, I did need uptaking the eco mode off of my screen because really, who cares, right? Let's have fun with the truck. Just drive and enjoy the Tundra. Rock and roll. I agree. Robert, what's going on? Connecticut in the house. Mag Gray TRD double cab. I like it, buddy. Uh, type 2 says, greetings from West Virginia. We don't ever get West Virginia, so that's cool. Welcome aboard. Thank you for being here. Bob says, Army Green is nice, but probably not for me. Already have a green forerunner. There you go, buddy. Valentine said, uh, excuse me, Valentine said, saw an Army Green TRD Pro on 95 South today near Stafford, Virginia. Uh, yeah, man, that's a rare bird. You don't see him that much, so it's pretty cool. Jose, what's going on, buddy? Otto says, hey, Mark, hello. It's Otto from Drumbo, Ontario. That sounds awesome with the double O. I like it. Uh, Cement says 57 in New Hampshire. So everywhere it should be cold, it is not today, and that's a great thing. Why did they halt production? They're having an issue with the part supplier deal going on right now. So there's a, a part supplier sh uh, shortage. I think it's a semiconductor or something. Um, but yeah, they're really struggling with that right now. So they shut her down. They were at a reduced uh, building rate at this point for like two months. I think they were rocking 40% and then it went even lower. Uh, these dealerships are just not getting tundras right now. So they're not able to build them as fast as usual. Don't forget also on top of that, in Texas, you had those, uh, or that really bad snowstorm and stuff like that recently. You also had COVID going on for a while. So there's just a lot of things in the way right now uh, that's slowing everything down. But the ultimate, we are halting production or timeout or slowing it down, uh, was that part supply issue. Snooster says, gotten a ton of compliments on my cement gray tundra. It's the best color out there, I would think. I'm not, it's not my number one, but I like it. I'll be honest with you. Jose says, have a very annoying issue with my 2008 Tundra. Go. Let's hear it, buddy. Phil, how's it going? 57 in Santa Cruz, California. Love my Silver Sky Metallic. Silver Sky is the best color to have. It always looks clean. You can't really see scratches. I'm a big fan. I've owned two Tundras in silver, and I would definitely go back. But the part of what you said there that makes me think, 57 in Santa Cruz, California. Is that normal? That seems low. Let me know. Never been to Cali. A lot of Cali guys on here today. MG, what's going on? Sacramento, California in the house. Good stuff. Jose's in Panama. Nice. Uh, Snooster says they do not have enough superconductors. There you go. Uh, Snooster, email me the minute this thing is over, tundradude34gmail.com. We got a chat, buddy. Kenny says waiting lists are a joke, and I am one of those people as well. Uh, Paul says, by the way, finally in the 60s in Chicago, but it'll probably snow tomorrow. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Tori says, got the new shoes on the Tundra in Tuesday. Wasn't able to find the Falcon Wild Peaks anywhere. Went with the Cooper STT Pros, which are awesome, by the way. Looks sweet. Can't wait to get in the mud. Can't wait to see pictures. M. Lennon says, what's up, Mark? Uh, you think there will be a 2022 TRD Pro? My hope is there's a 2022 TRD Pro, but knowing the way Toyota does things when they release trucks, or at least with the Tundras and Tacomas, um, they usually skip a year when there's, you know, a refresh or a new generation. So that may happen. I don't know. I hope not because, you know, a pro was one of the main things I was going to look at for the next gen. Uh, but if you're making me put money on it right now, I bet you they do skip a year. I bet you. And it's smart. Business-wise, very smart because you're going to have all that attention on the next gen coming out this year, right? And you kind of stretch the interest because for 2023, you'll have the brand new TRD Pro. So that stretches that interest even further along. So we shall see. Um, if I'm a businessman, I'm going to stretch it and I'm going to make it come out in 2023. As a fan and owner and enthusiast, I hope it comes out tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Jeremy is in Fort Worth, Texas. How you doing, pal? So Texas is back to good now, right? Temperatures back up to normal. Uh, no more random rogue snowstorms. Nothing like that. DeWalt King, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you again. Uh, Tomeo says, hello from Eastern North Carolina. Jealous. I'd like to move there. Top Sail Island, by the way, is where I would like to go. Rob says, Laredo, Texas, in the house. So Texas and California are making a very strong stance right now on this here live stream. If you are just signing on, thank you for being here. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, help a bro out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell. So you know every time we do things like this, a live stream or a video. It's usually one or the other, so I appreciate you guys being here. 
It is a Saturday afternoon. You could be doing a lot of things, but you're here with me, me and my coffee, because it's a work weekend, so we can't have too much fun. Delicious coffee, delicious. So we'll get a little energized up. I just woke up, went for a little walk with the wife, and now we're here doing the live stream, so not a bad Saturday. David says, Minneapolis in the house, 58 degrees. Nice temperature. 58 to 65 is perfect, especially in golfing. It's not hot and it's not cold. It's perfect, in my opinion. Walt King says, hello. Ali says, do you prefer white or black on a lifted Tundra TRD Sport? Hmm. TRD Sport. I'm going to talk about both for a minute. But if you're going to make me make a decision, I'm going black. Everything's body color on the TRD Sport. Uh, depending on the wheels you get, you did say lifted, right? Lifted tundra. So you might get new wheels or tires or, you know, bigger mud tires, whatever you end up getting. Uh, but maybe you'll upgrade to black wheels. Maybe you'll keep the wheels that are on it now. It looks good in both because of all the body color. But at the end of the day, when I see the black TRD sports out there, they just look fantastic. Um, you know, that metallic black that they have on the tundras really does shine very, very nice. The one crazy thing is, though, note this going in. I had a black uh, 2017 Platinum right? And it's a pain to keep clean. Anyone who's owned a black vehicle will tell you how hard it is to keep clean. So if that is something that bugs you, keep that in mind. Sunny D says, uh, will the shutdown slow the Tundra? <clears throat> One of the questions people ask me all the time is, will the slowdown slash shutdown of production right now uh, slow up the next gen? I don't work at the plant and I am not a higher up in any way, shape or form, but I wouldn't think so. Um, I think that will just limit the amount of 2021s right now. So as of right now, I haven't heard anything, but I will keep you updated on anything I hear about that. Of course, Andrew says, how can we make the Tundra wave not an actual thing? I'm like one of 22 with the wave. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. If I see a Tundra, uh, like if we're at a stop sign and, you know, I'm giving him the nod to go, you know, he'll give the wave... Uh, but we don't ever do like the Jeep wave or anything like that. I've had people come up to me at gas stations asking about the Tundra and they had a Tundra and then it becomes a talk, you know, and then you end up at a local Chili's drinking a beer talking about trucks. There's nothing wrong with it. But I don't know, the wave nod thing, I don't know. Uh, Tomeo says, yep, semiconductor shortage, that's what it is. Kenny says, quicksand number one, army green number two, lunar rock number three. I agree with Kenny, um, love quicksand. Toyota, if you're listening... I love you. Please bring back quicksand. We all like it. And I'm sure you look at the sales sheets and you say, okay, quicksand isn't selling. Let's get rid of it. Uh, listen, even though it's not selling, there are a few of us that want it. It's a very exclusive color. And I think it looks great on some packages and just okay on others. I never really liked it with the chrome fump, uh, front bumpers of the Limited and the SR5. But on like a TRD Sport with everything body colored out or the old Pro of 2016, it looked fantastic and I miss it. Uh, let's see. Tom says, what's the deal with the new trail hunter? What do you mean, bud? Tell me what you're talking about there, Tommy boy. How you doing, by the way? Rob says, hey, Mark, what would be best a leveling kit or a lift kit on my 2024 by 4 I mean, it depends what you want. Um, some people go up big six-inch lifts and stuff and do a lot of work on the Tundra. And, and all trucks. It's not just the Tundra, of course. Uh, lifting a vehicle is one of those things that uh, you know, it's a great business out there. For me, I like the leveled look, right? So like a two to three inch lift to level out the truck, a little bit bigger of a tire, nothing too crazy. Um, that's the way I would go, but there's so many options of each out there. In fact, Rob, I'm going to put this back on you. What look do you like better? My question to you is what you asked me. Lift or level, bud? Talk to me, goose. Phil says, colder than usual for Santa Cruz, probably because it recently rained. Yes. I've never been to California, but I have this thing in my head of, I know the state is gigantic and I know there's a lot of different areas of the state with a lot of different temperatures and climate and stuff like that. But everything in my head, when you say California is the beach and sun, that's just the way it is on the East coast. Uh, let's see. HT says right here in Kentucky. Hello, my friend, uh, gave my tw oh, 2007 to my son. Any idea when we, be, when we will be able to build and price the 2022 so ready. Um, no idea, nothing real. Uh, I can tell you it would probably be, if you're making me again guess, I'm going with probably late spring, early summer, hopefully. We just need the thing to be revealed, and then we can go from there on guessing. Tori says, by the way, who's tired of guessing? 
Who's tired of seeing spy trucks out on the road and guessing what is under the camouflage? Me. All of it, me. I've done Tundra rumor videos, next gen rumor videos, far and wide. Um, I don't mind doing them, but I'm at the point now where like I was expecting 2021. I was expecting it to be released or revealed already. So I'm just so overdoing those rumor videos. When I get them, you'll get the videos because I want you guys to know what's up. But sitting and dissecting a picture of a camouflaged mule truck, I'm over those days. They're pretty much the same thing every time. Um, I just want to see it. I just want to see it. No more speculation, you know? No more speculation. I will be doing a video next week um, out of my own mind on how I would release the next generation Tundra though. Um, just if I was sitting at the driver's seat per se of the front office, I want to talk about how I would release it to you guys. It would be a little bit different and it's just for fun to see what you guys think. Let's see. Snooster says semiconductor, not superconductor. I stand corrected. There you go, buddy. 10 push-ups. Uh, honor system, let's go. 58 degrees in Wayne County, New York. Newark, there we go. Another great temperature. I guess it, and now it's going to happen. It's going to be 55 to 65 like every day now, right? And then all of a sudden we'll get a blizzard right before May. Kenny says there's a 2021 Lunar Rock Tundra in Santa Monica by the beach in California. Before I read any further, I feel there's a massive markup coming. 20, there you go, dude. I, I swear I didn't read this. $25,000 markup. They just sold a black 2020 Tundra Pro with a $9,000 markup, and the man paid it. Stop paying markups. You know how I feel, if you've been around the channel a long time, how I feel about markups. I hate markups. I think they're wrong. I think they put out a bad message. Um, I don't think it's consumer friendly and good for long-term consumer trust, okay? I don't want to hear premium. I hear that everyone's, well, it's a premium vehicle. It's a rare vehicle. Copy that. I understand where you're coming from. Then charge MSRP. Done deal. Markups make no sense to me. And this, my friends, this is what makes me mad. Dealerships, some of them, not all of them. They operate the same way that they have for a very long time. You have to grow, okay? You got things out there like Carvana and all these different websites now that make it so you don't even have to go to a dealership anymore. You could do everything online, right? We talk about this all the time. You do everything online, they'll deliver it to your house, sign the paper, there's no haggling, nothing. To keep your long-term consumer base, why would you do things like a markup? Especially, unfortunately, California seems to be the king of the markups, like you just said, a $25,000 markup. And with the shortage of Tundras right now, that's not gonna get any better. But we the people do not want markups. I would never pay a markup. I don't care how rare something is. It's just, to me, it is so dirty. Manufacturer suggested retail price, MSRP, okay? The manufacturer is telling you a 2020 Army Green TRD Pro on the sticker should be $56,000. So why are you charging 69? Greed. Greed is the word. So I'm never going to be a fan of markups. Um, it's just it's just not in my nature, okay? At the end of the day, I'm for you guys. I'm also just an owner just like you guys, and I don't see it. I don't see... And the justification they try to give you for the markups, no bueno. Well, it's, you know, it's exclusive. This is rare. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing that blows my mind, too. Look, if it's like some GTS Porsche that there's three made in the world, you're going to mark it up. Yeah, right, buddy? Uh, you're going to mark it up. I understand that. That's a very rare vehicle. TRD Pros have been around a long time. So if you tell me you're going to charge me a $25,000 markup, I could go on somewhere like Auto Trader and find a Lunar Rock TRD Pro for MSRP. There are dealers out there, which is why I feel bad for the man that paid for that 2021, I guess it was, TRD Pro Tundra, the black one you just said, because with him... He probably didn't know, and this is what kills me. He probably didn't know he could easily just go online and find another dealer that will work with him and get him that vehicle for MSRP. What people think, and again, it's that old school way of thinking that you have to go to that dealership down the street from your house. It's just not the case anymore. It's just not the case. These dealers ship all over the country. You don't have to buy in state. I have bought three vehicles in uh, New York. And had it shipped to me, and I paid New York, or excuse me, New Jersey sales tax, um, and it was no big deal, no issue. The vehicle was registered, inspected here in New Jersey, all through the mail. Everything's good. 
um, there are ways around it. So if you see a massive markup, tell your friends, there are 91 of you on here, there are 94 of you on here now, tell your friends of the 90, now five of you, if you tell three people, we're gonna start spreading the word. Don't pay markups. Go online to places like Auto Trader, True Car, things like that, and search. Widen your search because you could have the vehicle shipped to you, or you could do the ultra fun thing that only a few of us get to do. I swear I'm doing this one day. Buy a vehicle many states away, fly to pick it up, and drive it home. Nothing cooler than that. See the beautiful United States of America. There are other ways around markups, I'm just saying. And I know a lot of the dealerships that have markups will tell you that everybody's marking them up and there's no point in going anywhere else. But nope, disagree, there are not. You could go right now. In fact, somebody, real quick, one of you guys, go on Auto Trader, search Tundra TRD Pro 2021 model year and expand to nationwide. See how many are out there and how much they're asking for. Give me a low number and a high number. Yeah, Tim, you did that, buddy. You did that for the Ford. But a lot of people do that, and that's a good thing. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That was a rant, and I apologize. We got a rant 21 minutes into this. That's what you need, baby. Went to my dealer today, or went to my dealer yesterday. <clears throat> Seems like whenever you ask about the Tundra, they are being beep about it. I wonder if they know. Enthusiasts want the V8, and they will be taking advantage of that. I don't know. I think the problem is this for these dealers, okay? There's no reason to, you know, be negative to a customer. You know, you, obviously, customer satisfaction is numero uno when it comes to anything nowadays, just the way the world is, right? Uh, but I think they're just frustrated because there's such a market for Tundras right now that they want to sell these things. They would come in, they would make money, easy commission, easy month. Honey, I'm home, we're going to buy filet mignons because I sold all these Tundras. That's what it would be like but they can't get any in and they probably get calls all the time about it because don't listen to anyone, man. The demand is way up on Tundras, okay? Supply down, demand way up. Dealership down the street from me right now. I drove by it today, no new Tundras. There were three new Tacomas, one new 4Runner, two used Tundras, okay? I drove by it. I walked three miles. Less than an hour later, I'm driving back. One used Tundra, okay? These vehicles are flying right now. And that's one dealership in New Jersey. Think about Texas, North Carolina, Florida, out west, Nevada. Uh, I almost said Vegas like it was a state. California, Utah, everybody's buying trucks. It's just the way it is. But these Tundras are going fast. Going fast. All right, we're back at it. I'm probably way behind now. Jose says, my four-wheel drive and VSC off are flashing, and my slip slip button, oh, in, is lighted on, don't know what to do. See manual, things could be four wheel drive, doesn't run also any other button from dash do nothing. I'm gonna try to read this again, and if anyone could help out Jose here, help him out. He's down there in Panama, probably doesn't have a lot of Toyota dealers around him, so here we go. Try it again. Uh, your four-wheel drive and vehicle stability control are off and they're flashing and your slip button is lighted on. Don't know what to do. See manual what the things could be wrong with it. Four-wheel drive doesn't run. Also, any other button from dash do nothing. Hmm. Turn your four-wheel drive on and see if that does anything for the lights. Uh, what is it showing right now as far as four-wheel drive? Is it showing the light on like a four high light? Is it flashing or is it off? Anyone who could help with that, let's help Jose out. That's what we do. Sunny D says, Tennessee is here. Oh, hello, Tennessee. Peyton, how you doing? Alaska in the house. Ooh, a new Alaska. I like it. Nando, what's going on? Arlington, Texas is here. Uh, I guess I don't have to ask where everybody's coming from today because you guys are just automatically talking about it, which is cool. Rob says, smoking a 19 pound brisket. Enjoy the weather on my tundra bed. That's delicious. You know, I'm not eating red meat right now, so I'm very jealous of you. And uh, I guess I'll just have chicken like I've been having for three months. Rock and roll. <sighs> I miss you, beef. Dustin says, howdy from Kentucky. Hello, buddy. Is it a good time to try and sell your old truck and buy a new Tundra now while stock is low? Prices are high or should I wait? Uh, will prices keep going up? So, Dustin, very hard question to answer, but I will tell you this. For me, I'm buying a next-gen the minute it comes out. So my dealer that I bought 
uh, my 2020 Army Green from knows that I'm ready to go if he's, uh, you know, able to offer me the amount I owe on it, which we're very close. If he offers me that, I may take it uh, because I don't want to get left out in the wind later. But I have a pretty rare pro truck, so I should be okay. I would definitely go in and get an appraisal because they're given insanely high prices to use right now. Um, who knows if that'll go away, you know, man? I'm also worried about the gas price issue. If gas prices stay up, that's when V8 sales will go down a little bit. I don't think they'll go down. I think they'll level out because, I mean, half tons, red hot market right now. Everybody wants pickups. Uh, but definitely go and give an, get an appraisal. And if you like what they say to you, take a, you know, do it. Why not? I don't know. It's a tough question because you never know what's going to happen in the future with it. Ken the Lawn Guy. How you doing, buddy? My lawn sucks, as I tell you every time you sign on. So if you want to drive here and take care of it for me, I make a really mean chicken parm. That's up to you, though, bud. How you doing, pal? Lionel, what's going on, buddy? Uh, Antigua, Wisconsin. All right, cool. Cheese in the house. Gilmer says, what do you think about buying truck Texas because the slow tax? I would like to buy a truck in Texas just for the fact of driving down there and picking it up and coming home. I guess you're trying to say low tax. What is the tax rate in Texas? Sales tax. Anyone? Tori says, by the way, how's all the family doing? Mark, is Tundra Dad still happy making the switch from the Tundra? Everybody's good. He loves the Tacoma probably more than almost any vehicle he's ever had. I wouldn't let him say more than any vehicle he's ever had because he's had some really nice Mustang GTs when we were growing up. He had an Alfa Romeo convertible from the late 60s. I really like that. Uh, so I wouldn't let him say favorite vehicle ever because I won't accept that. But uh, he really likes the Tacoma a lot. Perfectly built. The only thing it's missing is the LED headlights and the fog lights. His headlights are awful, so that might be one upgrade we do. I think he's going to keep it. Uh, let's see. Okay, Ken says, yep, I swore off black trucks but ended up buying another one due to it being the only one I could find with all the options I wanted. You, Ken the lawn guy, are just like me, buddy. You're just like me. Color of a truck is the last thing I care about. I care about what's in it. Okay, all the options I want, the features is the package on it, TRD Pro, TRD Off-Road, Sport, uh, Trail Edition, Nightshade. I care about what's on the truck versus the color of the truck. In 09, I ended up getting an SR5 TRD Off-Road Double Cab, 5.7 liter V8 engine. Uh, all they had was white. White is the last color I would want at that point. I got it. I made the best of it. I ended up blacking everything out. Um, it looked great. Lifted it. It was cool. Uh, but... Not my favorite color, but I get what you're saying. You know, you didn't want to buy another black truck. Very hard to keep clean, but you know what? You got all the options you want, and that, at the end of the day, that's what's up. Because putting money aside for a minute, if you really wanted to, you could wrap the truck, right? You could put a wrap on it of any color you want. So you do have some options. But those features you would have been missing, you wouldn't have those. Andrew says, what are your thoughts on the Pedal Commander? I don't have the Pedal Commander. I've never used the Pedal Commander, but every single one of you out there, uh, viewer-wise, that has used the Pedal Commander or owns one, loves it. I never heard a bad thing about it, to be honest with you. So maybe something you want to check out. By the way, real quick, because we're about 30 minutes into this, if you're just signing on, hello, welcome to Tundra Dude 34. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button. Appreciate you. Notification bell, and why don't you go ahead and subscribe. Check out the playlist section to get caught up on everything. From older model Tundras, current model Tundra 2021, rumors of the next gen, which is coming this year. We do dealership walks. Go to the playlist section and get all caught up. But thank you very much for being here and giving the channel a chance. It's all fun. It's all Tundra all the time. We like it. We also talk about other weird stuff too on these live streams, which is always a good time. Andrew says, quicksand is a great color. Uh, I also would get the Inferno orange if I could. Okay, Inferno 2015 TRD Pro, the first edition TRD Pro. That was the specialty color, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I wish I bought that. Every color on the TRD Pro, special one, I like. The only one that, if I have to put last place, would be Voodoo Blue. I wasn't a huge fan of Voodoo. And Calvary Blue was skipped because in 2018 there was no TRD Pro for the Tundra. I would have loved that. Tori says, if you look at the sales numbers, white is, the, uh, is most likely the best seller. Quicksand is definitely the best color. Agree. And it's all about sales. It's all on paper for these folks, you know? Sunny D says, I was talking with a guy with a 55-gallon tank the other day. That's insane. I like the 38-gallon tank. Um, you know, it really does the job. When I go on trips and stuff, I could go to and from with gas to spare for the week. 
uh, you know, it's a lot better than the old 26 gallon tank for sure. Teller says, is lift useful if you're not off-roading? I would leave it alone. If you're not off-roading, unless you want, you know, I mean, to each their own. If you want it to look a certain way that you're not going to use, that's one thing. But me, I mean, I'm just leaving it stock at that point. Uh, you know, if I'm doing mild off-roading, like here in New Jersey, especially in my area, off-roading, we used to do it all the time. We had a lot of great areas. The Pine Barrens, if you know about Jersey Devil stuff, uh, is right down the road. But they've pretty much shut down everything at this point. Uh, you're just not allowed to do a lot of things off-road anymore. So back in that 09 truck I was talking about, I put a lift on it. I put mud tires on it. We did a lot of off-road stuff on it. Had a new skid plate put on because uh, I was off-roading pretty good. Nice mud pits back there, slamming into rocks. You should have saw I had like a skid plate. It was like the front end of a bull bar that I totally blasted up into the truck because I hit a boulder. Like we used to off-road a lot. But now that I don't off-road because there's just nowhere to go anymore, um, I don't want to spend the money on all that expensive equipment for nothing, you know. There are some fire roads and gravel trails you could find around here. And I think uh, over by PA, there's a lot going on. If I ever move to Pennsylvania, we're off-roading. Let's see. Back at it. Uh, Tom says, Toyota trademarked the name Trail Hunter a couple of days ago. Uh, is it for the Tundra? I'm not sure. It's another great name, though. They got a lot of trail. There's Trail Edition. There used to be the trail for the Forerunner. So why not Trail Hunter? Let's go with it. More names, the better. Hillbilly says, side comment, nothing serious. If they offered you enough money, would you sell your Tundra? Not trade it in, but sell. Yeah. Yeah, if they did. And the reason I would is because I'm getting the next gen anyway. So, you know, if they made me an offer, I can't refuse. I got a mortgage. I got a mortgage. You know, it is what it is. I love that truck more than anything. I wish I could keep that truck sitting outside right now for a very long time because it's amazing. Uh, my favorite Tundra, and I've had some great ones. I've had a supercharged one. Uh, I just love this truck, man. I love all the features in it. It's perfect. It's, I think like a less is more approach. Yeah, it's a bright green TRD Pro, uh, but the interior is basic and gives me everything I want with those modern slight features, push button start, keyless entry. I really like that. I love the new 2018 and up gauge cluster. I love the Entune 3.0. It's not the best system in the world, but it's better than what was there before. Uh, there's things, heated seats. It's, it gives me everything I want. The leather's awesome. It's just, it's a perfect truck. But I'm going next gen for the channel, of course. I can't afford both. I just can't. Not even going to try to lie to you. I can't afford both trucks. That's a $60,000 truck out there. The next gen's probably going to be more than that. So I got to, you know, take it and leave it. It is what it is. I'll miss it when it's gone. Uh, Malcolm, what's going on, buddy? Lifting the 2022 will be easier. Replace the rear coils and shocks. Of course, ensure good driveline angles too. So one of the rumors going around about the next gen is there's a lot of aftermarket companies that'll be tied into the truck. Like Toyota's going to partner with a lot of aftermarket companies. I think that'll be great. I think that'll be the future going forward for a lot of these brands. You start to see them here and there through the years. You know, Fox suspension, uh, Bill Steen's going on some stuff, you know, tire contracts and everything. So hopefully we get some great aftermarket deals through Toyota that may not affect your warranty, which would be very cool. Ro oh, one more sip of the coffee. Hold on one sec. Okay, rock and roll. Rob says, leveling kit looks good. Had it on my 2013 Tundra, but thinking about putting 35s. Six inch lift with a 35 inch tire. I think that would look really good. Make it very unique. It'll look good, man. Have fun with it. Ken says, I like the 1794 Brown. Uh, wish you could get it without the chrome and the hood scoop on the TRD Pro. So you like the hood scoop. Good. I'm glad there's another person out there that likes the fake hood scoop on the front. I do as well. I mean, what you can do, bro, is you can clear up all the chrome on the front, put the pro grill on, uh, put the color keyed uh, bumper end caps. You could get rid of that chrome. It'll cost you a little bit, but it can be done. Raptor says, hey, everyone. How you doing, Raptor? Good to see you. Kenny says, hey, Mark, uh, has your 2020 skid plate started to creak? My 2020 Army Green, 1,800 miles. I guess it did. Uh, not for me. And I've heard this one before. A lot of people talk about the creaking of the TRD Pro and the skid plate. I have not had that issue, though, thankfully. Matthew, what's going on? A 2012 Tundra with a 3-inch level on 20 by 12s will most likely rub with 35s. Yeah, I could see that. Or you have to do some massive cutting, which is no bueno. Uh, Kenny says creaks already. Tim, oh yeah, yeah, you were saying it creaks already. Yes. So no, I have no creak with my, uh, or sounds of any sort with my skid plate. 
Tim says, do you miss the Magnuson Supercharger? I mean, it was cool and the wine was fun, but I'm telling you, this 2025 7V8 naturally aspirated gets down the road real nice. A lot nicer than a lot of other Tundras. My one con about having the Magnuson Supercharger, uh, well, there's actually two cons. Let me show you one real quick. Funny one. I miss having this license plate frame. That could be a good picture right there. Supercharged by Magnuson. That was always fun to have. Uh, but honestly, my one con is I had the Bully Dog tuner with it, and I hated the way the truck shifted. And if I could do it again, I would supercharge it, and I would go talk to the boys down at DAP Tuning. Uh, you know, Orange Virus has a great tune out there, but uh, I wasn't liking the way the Tundra shifted. Because even when you were driving it easier, it was almost like the, the way the throttle mapping was and everything was slamming into gear. I wasn't liking that at all. It made for a very rough ride, but overall the supercharger was awesome. With a great tune, it would be even better. But this thing is insane, I'm telling you. The 5.7, the way they have it recalibrated now, it's pretty cool. DX says, yeah, I'm sick of it. Heard Super Bowl, then Daytona, blah, blah, blah. Just released the specs already. I thought it would have been Super Bowl, man. I was really bent on that. And not even like a reveal. I thought the Super Bowl would have been that, um, that little teaser I saw that they gave to, I guess, the dealer principals or something. A dominating soon. It's a video of, I'm sure you've seen the picture on my channel a bunch of times. Uh, it looks like a TRD Pro. Uh, it's in shadow. You're seeing the headlights on it with the Toyota Heritage grill, that kind of thing. Um, I thought that teaser would come out. It didn't. I don't know who said Daytona. I think they were just saying Daytona because automotive, but no idea. Everything is a guessing game. It's insane. Otto says, nice to see you're drinking coffee on a Saturday. Uh, you like the double O's. Try spelling my name backwards and upside down. <laughs> Tired of speculation like you and everybody else. Yes. A little coffee today. I got to work tonight, so we don't drink on the work nights, of course. Glenn says, my 2011 Tundra Crew Max with 20, or excuse me, 220,000 miles says, hold my beer. Rock and roll, buddy. Sunny D says, watching Mecham Auto Auction. I always like those. I love watching those, especially for the rare stuff that comes on. I'll never be able to afford any of it, but it's fun to watch. Jeremy says, hey, Mark, nice to see you. How you doing, pal? I'm about to put uh, the 2017 Tundra to the test. Going to pull a 7,000 pound trailer from Atlanta to Montana, making the move. First off, awesome. Congratulations on the move. I think you'll really enjoy it. Montana seems great. Big sky, big sky. You'll have no neighbors for miles, which is awesome. Uh, but keep me updated. I want some updates on that trailer pull. Please be safe out there and make sure your brakes are in fantastic condition. It's all about stopping the load. Don't forget. Be safe, be well with that. But keep me updated, tundra234gmail.com. Kyle says 78 in Phoenix. Oh, well, that is what I expect from Phoenix. Actually, that's a little low for Phoenix. Real quick before I go any further, a couple things I want to announce here. Number one, fan features, okay? If you guys want your truck featured on the channel, check out the playlist. Uh, fan, I think it's called Fan Features. Uh, that's basically your trucks. I'm showing off your truck, your specs, anything you're doing with it. All you have to do is email tundradude34gmail.com, all right, and send in 15 to 20 pics of your truck inside and out. And do a little write-up, what you've done to the truck, what you plan to do to the truck, and everything else you want to add. Uh, to get an idea of how I format it, like I said, go to the playlist for fan features. That is a way to get involved in the channel and have 20, almost 26,000 people at least see your truck. So go check that out and hit that up if you're all into it. Number two, a new thing I'm doing is I do these dealership walks on Sunday. If you guys send me your dealership walks, wherever you're doing them around the country, I will add them to the back of my Sunday video. I have a few examples already. Uh, there was a fellow we did down in Texas. I think we did him twice. And one of my neighbors down the street uh, works up in North Jersey, so he has filmed a few for me up there as well. All you have to do is take a video of you walking around the lot like I do, and just let's see how many Tundras you got on the lot. Going forward, I'm going to do that as much as possible. Send the video, once again, tundradude 34 at gmail.com. So there you go. Now, let me give you these discount codes real quick. Sparksparts.com, promo code TUNDRADUDE34 saves you 5%. That's for all your parts for all your Toyotas, whether it be aftermarket or like a door handle, they have everything. Very important for you to listen to this next one, Toyota Outfitters, where I get all of this Toyota gear from, all the apparel, it's the official merchandise of TRD, Toyota, and Toyota Racing. Promo code, one word, all capitals, TUNDRADUDE, saves you 25% till the end of March. So you have like one week left. Take advantage. 25% off is massive. That's all I like. Oh, yeah, and then there's the Teespring down below, the shirts that I make. Got a new one out, QDR. Uh, quality, durability, reliability, Tundra. Go check it out. A lot of good sellers on there. Uh, that's it. That's the mid-session plug, and I'm done. 
I hope you guys enjoy the stuff and let me know if you have any questions. Samuel says, hello from Maryland. Samuel, how you doing, bud? It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Crab cakes in Maryland. So they always talk about those. I had them in Maryland. I like them up here in Jersey better, dude. I was a little disappointed and I'm disappointed to say that. Snooster says, got to head into church. Love the stuff, Mark. Keep up the good work. Be safe, be well. Say hello to the big JC for me while you're in there. He's a good guy. Hillbilly says, Inferno anyone? I'm a fan. Big time. Big time. Don't you have an Inferno? Glenn says the 2022 will go at least full, uh, full sticker, which I detest. Definitely a first. Definitely a first. Sunny D says, going to take my trade to Carvana uh, before heading to the dealership. Probably not a bad idea. Tim is making fun of my mustache. Rock and roll on that, buddy. I don't know why I have it. I have no answer for you. Sometimes I just let it grow out. I think it's my obsession with Hulk Hogan. It could very well be, um, you know, I don't know. Ken the Lawn Guy says, yep, I gave up waiting, and that's why I bought a 2021 Ram. Toyota lost me after the Super Bowl. I still enjoy my 2008 Tundra, though. Still can't wait for the unveil like all. Agree. Keep me updated on that Ram. I always like updates on the other brands. Uh, Gilmer says, from California, I have a 2020 SR5 TSS. What will be different versus TRD? So TSS is more of an appearance package. Uh, you know, so the TRD, if you're talking TRD off-road, uh, that's more of, you get Bilstein shocks, you get a skid plate, you get the different wheels and tires, all terrains, you get the sticker, uh, but that's pretty much it. With the TSS, you're more of an appearance package. Uh, I like the TSS a lot. It's not available in my area. TRD off-road is pretty much it. Down south, like the Southeast Toyota dealers, they have uh, TSS and XSP, I think is the other one they have. Um, and those are really nice appearance packages. So you did well. You did well. It's a good package out there. I think the only true difference when it comes to parts is the Bilstein suspension comes with the TRD off-road. Doug, how's Kansas, my friend? How you doing? Charlie, what's going on? From Virginia, spring is here. Yes, it is, thankfully. When do you expect the reveal? Hmm. I would really like to say June. June makes sense. I hope tomorrow. And it's a total guessing game because there's really no anything out there with it. So I'm going June. The way I look at it is this. It'll be released to the, probably the internals first, like the dealers and stuff like that. I mean, these guys got to learn how to build this truck, right? I mean, you can't just release it and be like, all right, go build it. So when the internals get released, we'll start to know that it's coming soon. I look forward to it. Uh, GF says, that's weird. I live in Southern California, but I've never paid a markup. I've only encountered one dealership that sells its vehicles at markup, and that dealership was 80 miles from my house. Well, that's awesome, because a lot of the folks that chime in from California always talk about markups. It might just be a TRD Pro thing. Kyle says, I wish Toyota had an HD truck. My 2005 Tundra has been perfect. Owned it 16 years, but next truck needs to tow toward the limit of the new Tundra. I guess we'll see, but they're saying, they're saying this new Tundra is a game changer. There was some dealer that was able to drive it. I don't know what level he was or anything. Uh, this was ages ago that he said, there's no need for a diesel anymore. That was a term that was said uh, back a while ago. So we'll see what happens with that. Ken, the lawn guy says, if people stop paying markups, the dealers would stop charging it. Uh, all you are doing is losing that much more in value as soon as you drive it off the lot. Yes, and they put that right in their pocket, I'm sure. True, I purchased my 191794 4x4 in Virginia. There you go, out-of-state purchase. Uh, Tim says, fly and pick up a vehicle. Sounds familiar. That's what Tim did from Pickup Truck and SUV Talk. Uh, he flew out to buy his new Ford F-150 hybrid. Tomeo says, I rented a car and drove back 200 miles. Rock and roll, buddy. I, I want to do that so bad. I want to do that. Ken says, I can't remember the last time I bought a vehicle in my state. There you go. Sunny D says, Chevy Dude will not mark up. Chevy Dude's a good guy. All right. You know, I mean, he's selling Corvettes left and right. I've watched his channel for a long time, but he is not a markup guy, and that's awesome. And he sells a bunch. I think he's the top seller, not just in his dealership, but in his area, which is cool. So if you're in the market for a Chevy, check out Chevy Dude. Samuel says, used to swear by CarMax for new Toyotas in Maryland. They sold out to another dealer. Sad. Not cool. Uh, Fred says, you've got to be a meathead to pay thousands over MSRP. The problem is some people are so passionate in wanting a vehicle that they get blinded by it. And there's a tactic when you go into a dealership. That's why they always want you to test drive before you do anything so you fall in love. And unfortunately, it happens to some people. Hello, Susan. How you doing? 
Samuel says, and CarMax consistently had lower prices than others around DMV. Uh, maybe that's why they went away. That's a shame. CarMax was a, a big deal for a while. Tom says, Tundra TRD Pro versus Sierra AT4 diesel. I don't know. Do you need a diesel? I always feel like you don't buy a diesel unless you need it, unless you're going to use it for what it's intended to be used for. Just my opinion. Andrew says, TRD Pro. Thank you, Andrew, for doing this, buddy. This is how behind I am. I am 20-some minutes behind. I apologize. I'll go faster. TRD Pro Auto Trader, 52,737 in PA. Highest, 64,176 in Colorado Springs. See, $52,000. Okay, we'll say $53,000 before the tax and all that crap uh, in PA. Instead of paying 60. So, there is a way. Uh, Randy says, you definitely need to check and compare prices at other dealers. I bought a new Lexus last year and saved $7,500 over the dealership in my town. That would not budge. I had to drive 90 miles one way. Who cares, man? You got what you wanted, saved a bunch of money. That 90 miles one way saved you 7500 bucks, right? All right, coffee out. Robert, what's going on, buddy? Check out your auto advocate on here. They teach you all the skills to purchase a new vehicle. Uh, I've learned a lot from when the 2022 comes out. Rock and roll. Robert says, O2 sensor maybe, and that is for uh, earlier. I, that's how behind I am. Water dog from New Mexico. How you doing, pal? Good to see you. Charlie says, first, remove the battery. Let it stay off for an hour. There's more good advice. Ken the Lawn Guy said, I once did an overnight test drive and took that vehicle to another dealer looking for a car to show them I was a serious buyer. True story. Too bad they already sold the car I went to look at. That's pretty awesome, man. That was a really good tactic. Idaho in the house. We absolutely love our potatoes. Thank you, Idaho. Sunny D says, is the chicken parm up for anyone? Listen, I'll cook for all you guys. We'll just do it one day. Samuel says, just spend $85 to fill up at Costco. First time in a long time. I was 100 bucks last week. Robert says, check out Vroom Carvana to see what they will give you. My 15 dart, they offered me over $8,000 and is going up weekly. I should do that. <clears throat> I should see what they would offer me. GF says, does not matter where you buy a vehicle? Your taxes are based on where your residence is. 100% on that. 7% sales tax right here, buddy. Uh, Gamero, <clears throat> I hope I'm saying that uh, right. I apologize if I'm not. Doubt it, but any new rumors on the next generation Tundra? Same old stuff, man. Same old stuff. We're just waiting on it at this point. Uh, Bay Mayo says, oh man, I'm late. Hello from California. I'm 20 minutes late to saying hello to you. So how you doing, buddy? Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Andrew says, can we all just appreciate how great of a truck the Tundra is for a second? Let's just take a time out. Remove our hats and appreciate the Tundra for what it is. Great truck. Great truck. Doesn't matter what generation you buy. It's a great truck. Okay. Let's see. Mike says, just bought my wife a 2021 Highlander Hybrid and was shocked at the power and 40 MPG. Still love my 1794 even as it guzzles gas. That's why I'm so excited for the, uh, the rumored hybrid Tundra, it's going to be a powerhouse, I'm telling you, buddy. MG says, I saw in TJ Mexico last week, I saw a single cab Tundra with all the TRD Pro options on it look pretty good because I don't think Toyota makes them in Mexico. There's a company, I don't remember the name of it. If anyone knows this, shout it out, please. There is a company that will take your regular cab short bed Tundra, which RCSB Tundras are rare, but they will turn it into a TRD Pro, like bed stamp, they put the bed on it and everything, um, the whole exterior. They put the suspension, the skid plate, everything. It literally looks like a regular cab TRD Pro. If anyone knows that company, the aftermarket company, shout it out because they're awesome. Tomeo says, Mike Taylor, Barcelona Red, 2019-1794, 4x4 here, rock and roll. RB says, heard Toyota may be looking to compete with Jeep Wrangler and the Ford Bronco, Excuse me, which may be the reason for the Trail Hunter. That makes a little bit of sense. I don't know what you said because you said it in Russian, but hello, if you're from Russia, how you doing? Thank you for being here. Uh, Painful says, I actually like the look of my army green for the TRD off-road. Yes, even with the chrome. It really doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. Michael, what's going on, buddy? Greetings from Iowa. I think we have all 50 states, Russia in the house. We're all over the place today. This is good stuff. Check your email when you get a chance, Tori, right after we're done. 100%. Marky Spencer, how you doing, buddy? Bend, Oregon in the house. Yeah, I think we really do have 50 states in the house right now. Good stuff. Sunny D says, what kind of coffee? 
a Maxwell House breakfast blend with hazelnut coffee mate creamer. Louis, what's going on? Hey, amigos from the Dominican Republic. Okay, now we're worldwide. This is good stuff. Louis, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Ken the Lawn Guy says, LOL, I could answer any lawn care questions if you have any. I just don't want to take care of it anymore, bud. The sun burns it out early in the summer, and then I give up. I always care around now. I think I just need to hire a lawn guy. Fred says, I'm ready for the 2022 Tundra already. Goodness. Agree, buddy. Agree. Beiserman says, any idea when the current gen production stops and the next gen would start? If we are waiting to see the new model before pulling the trigger, uh, I'd like to drive it, but probably won't be possible. Here's what I'm thinking, and I'll, I'll hypothetically say this. If it comes out, say it hits the lots in late November, early December, I would think the changeover would be early September, late August. That's what I'm guessing. Maybe a little later. They need some time to you know, build up the inventory a little bit there. Glenn says, RB, in concept, they're replacing the FJ with the TJ, which is like an enlarged Scion XB. Look it up. So I went to an auto show in 2017 that had what I think we're talking about right now. I should probably put up pictures later. Um, it's like a, yeah, you're right, the Scion XB looking vehicle. Uh, you know, angled out a little bit more, but yeah, I bet you that's the same thing. Fort, what's going on? I have the same worry about not being able to get this generation when they announce the next. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this year's. Why not, buddy? Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong. Beautiful truck. Congratulations. What'd you get? What was your uh, trim? All that stuff. Tell me. I want to know. Lockawan says, is it going to be hard to find engine parts for the 5.7 since they're going to stop making it? No, I don't think so. Not at all. Especially because the 5.7's been around since the 07 model year. They probably have a plethora of parts. Name the movie. Plethora. Impress me. Uh, they have a ton of parts. And they usually keep making the parts for, I think, 10 years afterward. You'll be fine. You'll always find stuff for it. Glenn says, funny you mentioned Daytona because my Tundra makes the trip every year for the 500 from Oklahoma. I love it. I've never been to the Daytona 500, and it blows my mind. NASCAR fan for as long as I have. As you can see, all the stuff behind me there, over there. Uh, we got a... Kenneth says we've got a 1994 in Army Green. <laughs> Oh, 1794 is what you were trying to say. I was very confused there. At Belize in West Springfield, Massachusetts, the only new Tundra on the lot. It's really nice. I would love to see a 1794 in Army Green. I may buy it. And there's the correction, 1794. Ken says, white would not be my first color normally, uh, but there's something I love about a white Tundra TRD Pro. I totally agree. It looks great with all the blacked out accenting. Yep, that would be my first choice of color if I bought that truck. Rock and roll, totally agree with you. Michael says, wish they still made the Tundra in hunter green. I agree with you, buddy. That was a sharp color. And when the clouds are out, or it's a little, you know, dusk, dawn, that is when my truck has that hunter green look to it, and I love it. Shawnee D, how's it going, buddy? Checking in late today. I've been working out in the yard on this gorgeous day. Hey, man, I'm just glad you're here. I'm glad you said hello. Totally cool with that. Uh, Narwhal says, what are your thoughts on the FI exhaust for the Tundra? I don't know. I don't know. I've never actually heard of the FI exhaust on the Tundra. So if anyone knows, let's help out the Narwhal. And I'd love to hear about it. I'm going to check it out now because I really have never heard about it. What's the brand? Talk to me. Dual, single exhaust. What do we got? Glenn says, uh, have my guy in Oklahoma City going to send you a clip or two from their dealership. Awesome. Uh, he says they have six right now. Send away. If he sends it in time, I'll put it on tomorrow's. Joe Willie says, what's average brake life on a Tundra? I'm thinking 30-ish. Any thoughts? I've heard around 30. I think it depends what you use the truck for. Um, you know, if you're a heavy breaker, they're going to go away. If you tow a lot, they're going to go away. I put up new wheels and tires on my 09. They went away real quick, a heavier tire. Uh, so it really depends on use, I would think. Jared says, in your opinion, how rare do you think the 2021 Pro 5.7 V8 and Lunar Rock will be? I think it'll be pretty rare, man. It just depends on, uh, you know how those V8s hold up. If they, if all the rumors we've been talking about for all this time are true and they say no more V8, which we've heard for a long time, there's still going to be V8 faithful out there for a long time. You know how people are, at least, you know, doing this channel and talking to everybody all the time. There are more people that are sad to hear the 5.7 V8s going away than happy that there's new stuff coming. So I think there will be a market for that for sure. Might be something to hold on to. And it's the special color TRD Pro. You can't go wrong. I love Lunar Rock, by the way. 
uh, you know, I was blessed enough to have my press vehicle in December. I had actually two Lunar Rocks. I had a Lunar Rock TRD Pro Tacoma and a Lunar Rock Double Cab TRD Pro Tundra. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color, as are most of the TRD Pro Special Colors. Michael says, I see the new F-150 Hybrid has a tow rating of 14,000 pounds if properly equipped. Uh, if the new Tundra can match or beat that, I would be all over it. I would be happy with around 12. I think 12, 12, 5 would be a nice number. That's just me. Because the if properly equipped, it becomes like two-wheel drive, long bed, regular cab, stripped down. I want to hear what this thing could do fully loaded, like for the F-150, like the Platinum or the King Ranch. What are we telling, you know? Hillbilly says, do you, hold on. Uh, oh yeah, I did it on the showcase, yeah, a few years ago, I remember that, your cement. Jose says, if somebody knows a Tundra mechanic that could help, I would appreciate it. I don't know who's down there in Panama, that's the problem. I guess we could go, oh, you're talking about like an email or something like that? Yeah, if anyone's a Toyota mechanic it could help out Jose, help him out, get his email. Tomeo says, not true. I paid VA state tax, then paid local taxes for plate and registration. Plate and registration are a different story, though, right? Um, yeah, I've never paid the, the tax where I bought it. I only paid it where I live. Blake says, Maine in the house. Okay, Blake officially has made it all 50 states now. I know I've said that seven times. How you doing, Blake? Good to see you, pal. Kenneth says, speaking of game changer, try the Chobani coffee creamer. I will. I'm always, coffee's my favorite. So I always like to try new things with it. Ken says, the sad thing about truck tow ratings is people get too caught up in that. Totally agree. If you're towing anything near 10,000 pounds or greater, you need to buy an HD truck, not a 1,500. Totally agree with you, 100%. Chris says, hi, Mark. Chris from Michigan. How you doing, Chris? Good to see you, pal. Have you ever downloaded CDs or music from your computer to a flash drive to play it back through the media USB on your Tundra? No. And I'm going to tell you why, buddy. So this is the first Tundra I've had. I have the 2020 now that doesn't have a CD player. But up until that point, I'm still a CD guy. I'm, listen, I don't care about your technology. I don't care about any of that stuff. CDs are quick, easy, and convenient in my opinion. Maybe I'm old school. So up until this truck, I always had a book of like 500 CDs in there. But I know people that have done that and put their CDs on a flash drive and totally worked, all good, everything awesome. It's a great idea. I really should do it, but uh, I gotta sit down and take the time to do it, and that's, a different story. Rob says the three amigos, he's 100% right. Great movie if you've never seen it. Kathleen, how you doing? Uh, 2021 Tundra Limited TRD, Western Washington. Loaded question, Kathleen. What color did you get? I gotta know. Limited is amazing. TRD off-road package makes it even better. You scored. It all comes down to the color. I can't wait to hear. Beiserman says three amigos. That's a great movie. The best. Your Ned Niederlander. Uh, Narwhal says the FI exhaust is a... Oh, God. Uh, three on each side. With I got to check that out. I didn't even know that existed. I'll be completely honest with you. HH, what's going on? Just randomly seeing you were live. So, hello. On my way back to Texas from doing the, I'm going to say this wrong, Kamichi Trail in Oklahoma. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I do it for the good times with you guys. Tori says, 73,000 on my original breaks. No joke. Rock and roll. Ken says... Yep, but the dealer probably would only have a black TRD Pro and I would end up swearing off black trucks for a third time. Listen, man, just forget about the color. Just get the stuff you want on it. Waiting on the new Tundra as it should be the perfect overlanding truck. Need that fuel economy to improve. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm done waiting, but I can't wait. Wow, Tori, you're brave, says Tomeo. I agree. Alberto Rodriguez, I have 2016 and some paint is pulling off right by the fender on the bottom. Uh, above the wheel well is Inferno color. Okay, so it's Inferno, and you have a little paint coming off the fender on the bottom by the wheel well. Oh, what are you going to do, buddy? Is it touch upable, or is this going to be like a new paint job? They do sell paint. They sell the actual paint for the truck, Toyota Genuine Parts. I don't have a paint pen around here to show you. They have pens, and they actually have the actual paint, too. Keep me updated on that, Alberto. I I'd like to know. Oh, is there a warranty for the paint? Uh, it's all going to depend on your mileage, my friend, so call your local dealer and see what they say about it. If you're in warranty, there might be, it depends. If it's something you did, they're going to make you pay for it. If it's a defect in the paint on the truck, you might get hooked up, but definitely call your, uh, your service center, your service advisor at your dealer. Troy says, what's up, Mark? Late to the party, but here now. You're here, and that's commendable. How you doing, pal? You're always here. It's good stuff. Tomeo says, yes, Alberto. Check the warranty stuff. Agree. 
Uh, Moy, what's going on? Good to see you, Mark. Hi from Mexico. How you doing, pal? Good to see you. Thank you for being here. We're international today. We're all over the place. This is good stuff. Uh, God bless the 8-track player. He's joking, but he's not. RB says he's joking because he doesn't want to get made fun of right now. But listen, you do what you got to do. You want to put on a little BGs in the truck? You do it. We put one in the truck for you, man. We got an 8-track uh, player in there tomorrow. Uh, let's see. I agree. Love my CDs, too. Can't get over them. Don't want to. John says, Tundra vs. 2014, F-156.2, FX-4, Tundra vs. 2014, F-150, FX-4. Okay. Uh, are you asking? Because I don't know. I like the 5.7 V8 and the Tundra. The 6.2, so what is it, the Raptor? Didn't the 6.2 only come in the Raptor back then? I've never driven that Gen Raptor. I'd like to know. You tell me. You tell me, buddy. Oh no says, just bought a black 2015 Tundra Limited. Congratulations. Welcome to the team. Do you love it? Did you get a good price on it? Tell me about it. Uh, Hillbilly says, Hitman's Bodyguard. Alberto says, 35,000 miles. You should definitely check out the warranty on that, bud. John Bibb says, yes. Uh, yeah. Well, if you're getting a Raptor, Raptors are cool. I mean, that first-gen Raptor I like a lot more than the current-gen Raptor. Uh, the 6.2 is a fast engine, um, but it's a heavy body, too. And that's the thing. And people always talk about power-to-weight ratio. And people get too caught up. We talked about the towing numbers. People get too caught up in the horsepower numbers. So... Bigger engine, heavier body. It's all about that tuning. It's all about the throttle mapping. I don't know. That would be a good test, though. John, give me your Raptor if you have one. I'll totally test drive it. But Glenn says, only replace brakes twice in 220,000 miles uh, and are running original plugs. Scared to take them out. Uh, you risk stripping a seized plug. You don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to do that. John says, 6.2 regular trucks come with 6.2. Okay, so the regulars did come with 6.2? I did not know that. Learn something new every day about the old F-150s. Fred says, go with straight pipe, 3-inch, no muffler, cat back uh, for a good-sounding Tundra. It'll wake you up in the morning. I like the way you think, pal. All right, so we are going to call it a live stream. We were just over an hour. So I thank you guys for being here because it was a lot of fun, as always, just reading your questions and talking. You know, That's why we do the Saturday live streams. Uh, we'll obviously do it next week. Tomorrow we're going to do a dealership walk. I don't know how many Tundras I'm going to find. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to check and see if some magic happened at the dealer down the street for me, if they got anything in, or I might take the ride out to Lakewood. i got to work in the morning, so I don't know where I'll be able to go. But I will go somewhere. I will film something. So make sure you check out the dealership walks tomorrow. Always fun to do. You guys seem to love the dealership walks. And don't forget, if you do dealership walks, film it, send it to me, and I will put them on my Sunday dealership walks at the end of my video. You will be a star to 26,000 Tundra enthusiasts, at least. All right? So if you want to do that, tundradude34gmail.com. Uh, let me just get caught up. There were a few more that came in. I see Tomeo said 2022 Tundra now. Right now. We're done waiting. And you could also hit the like button on your way out if you had a good time today. It's always fun. It's always fun talking with you guys. It's not always all about trucks. It's just hanging out. We're sitting around a giant internet table. We're just talking. We're chilling. Having a little coffee, you know? Bonding. B.E. says, first one here today from Washington State. Always a good chat on here. Thanks for being here, B.E. For sure, buddy. Ken says, is there anyone you would like Tundra... Hold on. Is there anything you would like Tundra to bring back? Uh, I love... I was just going to say the fold back seats. Yes. And also a stock uh, grab handle for the driver. The pop-open storage in the doors and the secret storage in the center console. Seven, oh, 07 to 13 Tundras had way better storage on the interior. I'd like all that back. Mr. Holmes is here, a Toyota sales team, super specialist. What's up, pal? Good to see you. Do you still have your Lunar Rock 4Runner and TRD Pro Tundra on the lot? I'm sure some of these folks would want one. BE says, have a good rest of your day, Tundra Nation. Uh, super, <laughs> Michael Holmes is a superstar. He's all right. He's a good guy. I like him. He does sell a lot of Supras, that's for sure. Glenn says, Christian from OKC just sent the vid to you. Rock and roll. I'm going to need it because I feel like there won't be a lot of Tundras. I got a question for you, Mr. Holmes, real quick before we uh, end this. How many Tundras you got on the lot right now? Robert says, do a Tundra dude meetup. I would like to do a Tundra dude meetup. I think it's time we do that. John says, 5.7 liter LOL. Yes, I would like to tell you the 5.7 liter is the greatest engine of all time. Sold. Yep. And uh, I feel like I'd be right. I like the 5.7, especially today's 5.7 with the recalibration. Feels like a uh, dream come true, bro. It's a fast truck. Tundra available. Four Tundras available. Okay, good. 
So you have four on the lot, but I can't drive to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina to see them. But uh, if you want to, Mikey, if you ever want to walk your lot and film the trucks and send me the video, I could put it with the dealership walks on Sunday. I'm just saying, pal, you could be a star. You could be a star. You're my favorite already, but you could be their favorite too. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Be safe. Be well. Don't forget, give love to the emergency service personnel around you, fire, police, EMS, everyone. Look what they do for our country every single day. They protect us, as does the U.S. military. We give love to the U.S. military, so make sure you thank a vet or thank an active soldier today. And we also like Canada. We like Canada a lot, too. Military and all the emergency services. So have a good one. Be safe. Be well. I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, let's film truck lots. I'm going to do it, man. I may end up at some of the other dealers soon because they're so out of tundras. And we'll just go check out the competition. If you guys want that, comment below this video and let me know. But until next time, be safe, be well. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34. TundraDude34gmail.com. Look forward to hearing from you. Check out the videos. Check out the playlist if you're new. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that stuff. I'd like to see you involved in everything. America, thumbs up. Be safe.